This is Chapter 2, Elementary Programming, Programming Exercise 11, Population Projection. So we did a similar exercise back in Chapter 1, Program Exercise 11. So in this exercise, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to prompt the user to enter a number of years and display the population after the number of years. So what do we know from that exercise? We know that the current population is 312 million, 32,486. We know that uh, one per there's one birth every seven seconds, one death every 13 seconds, and one new immigrant every 45 seconds. We also know that in a single year, there are 365 days, and we're going to ignore leap years. So to solve for this, we're going to have to find out the how much the population increase in a single year. To do that, well, we're going to have to calculate for the amount of seconds in a year, which is 60 seconds times 60 minutes times 24 hours times 365 days. Because we're going to have to figure out the amount of seconds in a year to calculate the amount of birth per 7 seconds, death per 13 seconds, and uh, new immigrants per 45 seconds. We're going to do all of that and then we're going to ask the user to enter a number of years to calculate for the total amount of population. Uh, that way we could finally do our little formula that we created right here which to solve for the total amount of population in x amount of years it is current population plus birth minus death plus immigrant times that total amount by x amount of years so let's actually get a visual on that to see how all of that works all right so right here this is the uh, this is chapter one program exercise 11 where we wrote out that exercise where we have to calculate one at a time right display everything line by line but in chapter two with what we've learned so far, everything that we gathered, we can make this a little bit easier to do. Now, let's see. What are the few things that we first need? Which is, uh, bring that elsewhere. All right. Let's see. So, what we're going to do is to figure out the amount of seconds in a year, which we're going to create a variable for that seconds in a year. I'm going to write that right here. Now, to calculate the amount of seconds in a year, we have to uh, break it down like this. We know that there are 60 seconds um, in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. There are 24 hours in a day, and there are 365 days in a year, ignoring leap years. So that will give us the total amount of seconds in a year. Next, we're going to have to calculate birth. Uh, birth per year. All right. To calculate for that, simply seconds in a oops no wonder it's not auto seconds in a year divided by 7.0 and then let's calculate death per year which will be equals to seconds in a year divided by 13.0 And then we have to find out immigrants per year. Okay, this should be lowercase equals to seconds in a year divided by 45.0. And now that we got that whole thing, what we want to do is to now ask the user
to enter the amount of years that they are expecting. Uh, for us to look for in the population growth. So let's see system bar out oh, print enter the number of years. Of course we're gonna have years equals and you know what instead of making years a double we'll make it a an int year. All right input dot next int okay and finally we could calculate for that so let's calculate that as total population so total population is equals to actually I didn't even write down the current population hmm uh, let's write that as an int current population because we don't want a fraction of a person and current population is actually uh, 312,032,000 uh, okay so that's the uh, current population so current population will be plus equals so you're adding uh, all your new value to your current population times years so we're gonna have to find out the birth per year plus immigrants plus per year plus nope subtracted by death per year all right and right here it's expecting Variable may not be identified. Current, oh, current population. And I want to get rid of this right here. Okay. Finally, system dot out dot print. Uh, write pop population population in. Uh, years, which is what the user entered, is current. So let's give that a run. All right. So enter the number of years, five, and we get population in, oops, in five years. In five years is blank all right run that again five so we get 325 million nine hundred thirty two thousand nine hundred sixty nine and if we were to compare it with this let's see how close that is so let's grab that first copy it all right so that is three hundred twenty five thousand nine hundred and thirty two or sorry three hundred and twenty five million nine hundred and thirty two thousand nine hundred and sixty nine all right and that is in comparison with this so bam we got the exact same number all right except this way the way we did it it's much simpler and I mean not this one but this one the way we did it right here much more simplified and easier. Did I write this wrong? Yes, I did. Population. There we go. Okay. All right. So uh, once again, let's review what we did right here. Uh, what we did is we create several variables which we need which is the seconds in a year, birth per year, and uh, seconds in a year, or seconds. Oh yeah, okay. Seconds in a year, birth per year, death per year, and immigrants per year. Uh, and then for integer variables, we create the years and current population. So why did we create all this? Well, first of all, current population, we have to figure out what is the current population, because we're going to add to that current population. 
years is going to be the variables that the user is going to request, right? User is going to ask, hey, I want to see what the population increase in maybe 10 years, five years, two years, three years, so on and so forth, right? So that uh, variable is storing the year that the user is looking for. Next, let's take a look at this. Seconds in a year. Why do we have seconds in a year? Well, we know that uh, there are seven or every for every seven seconds, there is a single birth. Uh, but that's every seven seconds uh, if we were to add it up to a single year. We're not going to count all the way up to a single year. Instead, we're going to figure out the total amount of uh, seconds in a single year, and then we're going to divide that by seven. And the reason we create a variable for it is because we use it multiple times. We use it one, two, three times. So why keep calculating this over and over and over again? Uh, we're going to use it so many times. Why not just calculate once and then we can use it as many times as we need, which is why we create a variable for that. And then we create a variable for birth per year, death per year, and immigrants per year. That way, instead of doing the solution, doing the formula uh, down in the uh, where you want to display it, you could do it all up here. That way, in the future, if there is a need to update it, turns out in the future there's actually 10 births per second and two deaths per year and one immigrant uh, every 100 seconds. So if you need to change it, you could just change it all up here instead of having to change it elsewhere over and over and make a mistake. So that's why we have something like this right here. All right. Next, we ask the user, enter the number of years. That's where we store the variable uh, for the total amount of year that's going to go by to check the population increase. All right, so that's the variable right here. And this is what we see in the console displayed to the user. Enter a number of years, say we enter five. All right, so can we enter that? It's stored in this variable and we have our calculation over here. Now, we haven't, I haven't done this in the past. Now this is just a shorthand way of writing uh, the population and the current population add it with this and then assign it back to the current population all right so it's just it's like saying current population plus uh all of this times this add all of that do all of that and then assign it back to current population so this is just a shorthand all right now what i did is birth per year add it with immigrants per year so that is an increase of population all right Birth per year and immigrants per year is an increase pop of a population. Subtracted by death per year because that's a decrease in population. Multiply with the amount of years that go by with the new population growth, uh, which stays the same. Increase, uh, well, it increased the same amount every year. So we don't have to worry about that. Times the years and store it back into current population. And that's where we get our final result population in x amount of years is x amount of this population all right and that'll be it for this exercise